Hi friend, today we are going to discuss the new point from the agrochemicals. Uh, in the last video, uh, we have to just introductory part of the agrochemicals completed. In agrochemicals, it is a chemical compound which is used in agriculture to protect crop from the pest, weeds and enhance crop yield. Uh, for this purpose, uh, there are the different agrochemical uh, used to achieve this purpose. Uh, in agrochemicals, uh, they are broadly classified according to the uh, different classes. The first class of the agrochemicals that is insecticides. In today's lecture, we have to learn uh, the first the class of agrochemicals so that is insecticides. The first class of agrochemicals that is insecticides insecticides the insecticides uh, these are the chemicals uh, that protect the crop from insect by killing them preventing their attack repelling the insect and killing mitigate insect uh, the insecticides which is used to protect to protect or to kill or to Preventing, preventing their attack or repelling, repelling the insect and killing the mitigate insect. Uh, these are the chemicals. Uh, these are the chemical uh, compounds which is used to protect to kill or to preventing attack or to repelling uh, insect and killing mitigate insect the insecticides are classified on the basis of their uh, use the first one they are classified according to chemical nature classified according to chemical nature and the second class that is mode of entry and the third one mode of action uh, these are the important class of insecticides according to the chemical nature according to the chemical nature of the insecticides then mode of entry of insecticides and mode of action of insecticides so these are the important class of insecticides now the first one the chemical nature in the chemical nature uh, there are uh, different the chemical composition of insecticides that is the first one inorganic compounds inorganic compounds like arsenicals fluorine compounds uh, these are the examples of inorganic components the second one organic compounds organic compounds like DDT, HCH, phenyl derivatives, carbamates, etc. And the third one, chemical nature of the insecticides, that is botanicals, botanicals, that is nicotine, rotinone and pyrethrin. Uh, these are the important examples of the botanical nicotine. 
botanicals uh, these are the first class of the insecticides is it included the chemical nature of the insecticides according to the what types of con uh, constituent particle present in the insecticide that is the first inorganic compounds organic compounds and botanical compounds so these are the three important subclass of the chemical nature of the insecticides then important properties of uh, chemical nature that is the first class the compound should be soluble properties it should be soluble then second one enable compound move to move to plant penetrate penetrate through root stem and leaves uh, these are the important uh, properties of any pesticide first example chlorinated hydrocarbons like ddt ddt these are the example of insecticides that is 111 trichloro 22 bis p chlorophenyl ethane is proved to extremely effective against the files and mosquito but ddt has environmental hazard due to its long residential life and its accumulations uh, these are the example of insecticides that is ddt which is used against files and mosquito then organ phosphate like methyl parathion uh, these are the another example of insecticide it have lower toxicity to the human and domestic animals then third one the first example second one methyl methyl parathion parathion uh, these are the lower toxicity to human and domestic animals then third one pyrethroid it is highly potent against insect and lower toxicity to human being and animals uh, these are the important the first class of insecticides uh, the insecticide they again sub divided into three main classes that is according to the what types of chemical constituent present in the chemistry insecticides so that is the first one inorganic compounds organic compounds and botanical compound then second one based on the mode of entry that is the first one the stomach insecticides there are different subclasses like the stomach insecticides then contact insecticides and then the third one fumigant uh, these are the three sub classes of the mode of entry the stomach insecticides in here the insecticides eaten by the eaten by the insect are known as stomach insecticides Uh, these insecticides are active against the chewing insect such such as caterpillars grasshoppers uh, their application is through the food and entry through the midgut of the insect example that is ddt is the best example of uh, stomach in insecticides and, and eh ch these are the two examples then contact insecticides uh, these insecticides kill the insect due to external contact and the absorption through the skin okay uh, their application is through the body surface and the entry through the 
ककटाइल एंड दी ट्रेसिज द एग्जाम्पल द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ कॉन्टैक्ट इंसेक्ट दैट दैट इज पायरेथ्रीम पायरे प्रोटेन एंड टोक्जाफिन टोक्जाफिन दीज आर द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ कॉन्टैक्ट इन्सेक्टिसाइड्स एंड देन दर्ड वन फुमिगंट्स दीज आर द एक्सर्ट देअर एक्शन इन द गैसी स्टेट टू किल द इन्सेक्ट Uh, this substance act uh, on these insect through the respiratory systems as their vapors enter through the trachea example hcn these are the best example of the fumigant they form gases then second one the methyl bromide methyl bromide and ddvp these are the examples of fumigants uh, then the third important subclass of the insecticides based on the mode of action it is based on mode of action mode of action in here there are different types of the physical poison physical poison which kill the insect by the suffocation second one inert dust inert dust then third one heavy minerals oil heavy mineral oil mine heavy mineral oils then fourth one respiratory poison respiratory poison and the fifth one nerve poison uh, these are the uh, based on the mode of actions of the insecticides the first one physical poison in here the the physical poison which kills the insect by the suffocations suffocation is the important mode of action of the insecticides the second one in here uh, which if effect a loss of body moisture from the insect loss body moisture then third one which exert a purely aspirant effect aspirant effect aspirant effect the fourth one which combine with the cytochrome oxidase and the inhibit their catalytic action inhibit catalytic action catalytic actions and the fifth one which is associated with the primarily with solubility of the tissue lipids solubility of tissue lipids 
these are the three important subclasses of insecticides according to the uh, how they are attack on the insect the first one according to chemical nature second one occur based on the mode of entry and the third one based on the mode of action uh, these are the important uh, subclass actually insecticides uh, these are the chemical components which is used to protect crops from the insect by killing them by preventing their attacks and uh, repelling the insect and killing mitigate insect uh, these are the important function of the insecticides which is uh, used to control the insect as well as to enhance crop yield by using these insecticides